How did you use media technologies in the construction, research and planning and evaluation stages? Well, for my research and planning, I use the internet a lot. I use the internet a lot to uh, to look at examples of existing media texts, and that wasn't just for for teaser trailers, but that that was for my for my poster and for my magazine front cover as well. So I, I you know, I used the internet a lot, and it was really helpful because it was really easy to find and analyze existing texts to gain a greater understanding of the genre of horror itself, and for the specific text that I was researching, teaser trailer, poster, etc, etc. And um, so to have that overview was, was fantastic to, for me to be able to kind of conceptualise my teaser trailer, poster and magazine front cover because of the fact I use the, the internet so much. And also the, um, the IMAX, using the IMAX at school meant that I could, um, I could use iMovie and Final Cut Express to um to produce to produce an animatic to show to my target audience and see how what they think of that as a as a kind of like a preliminary idea and having having iMovie and and GarageBand also for the for the um for the underscore and the voiceover for those was fantastic it was really good for for me to have those because it meant that I could create quite a good looking product even though even though it was it's really simple to show to my target audience, and it was something that really helped in my kind of audience feedback and audience research, and in in my research and planning stages of of the whole thing. I used a camera to take pictures for, of each individual shot for my animatic. I used um, a video camera to to film audience feedback and to and to conduct audience research for for my for my teaser trailer specifically. And um, this whole thing really kind of helped me to gain a greater kind of perspective and overview of of, of everything. And how kind of teaser trailers, posters, magazine front covers are all kind of constructed and how they're made to kind of influence the audience. I also used um, a digital camera for photos of my location and light testing for, for my location, but that kind of comes under the production st side of things. And um, so for my research and planning to have, have the blog on, on the internet was really easy just to kind of put everything I was thinking down and everything I was doing down on the blog so that so that I could see where I was in terms of how far along I could get in for you know kind of making an animatic and making making the teaser trailer itself and magazine posters so that 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 kind of technology there was just you know it's fantastic to to kind of utilize and to have that for my production stage I kind of mainly used just a video camera just um, that was, yeah, it was all for filming, and also I again I used the IMAX to to edit everything that I had uh, to because I had a lot of kind of extra footage because I, I knew from past experience that you need to film more than you think you need because there will always be something wrong and you will always have backups and even then you can film something you don't think you'd need and you could put it in there because it would look good, and so to have you know, the use of Final Cut Express and those Max was really good because it, it was a fantastic tool, a fantastic piece of equipment that I could use to edit all of those shots together and put the soundtrack on there, put the underscore on there and really just kind of chop it around like the shots that you see a lot of the shots have have this voiceover of Giles, of the caretaker saying all these weird creepy things but it's not with the shot that you that you see it, that you expect to see it, like you hear it in the in the hallway but you'll see a shot of, of Jenny running down the hallway. And it was a fan, it's a fantastic editing tool. It's a really easy editing tool to use. And you can put things like crossfades, cross dissolves, you know, all these different transitions in quite happily and quite easily. And you can change it all about. And it, it's just a really simple, easy to use and really professional piece of kit. I also use LiveType to, to do all the titles for my te teaser trailer. So, um, you know, and that, that again is quite simple to use. Not as easy, I think, I find as as as, low as, as Final Cut. But um, live type again, that's something you can use quite happily. And then live type and, and Final Cut, um, they talk to each other really, really well. So for my magazine front cover and my movie poster, I used mainly really just um, just uh, just Adobe Photoshop CS5, and um, that was just fantastic. I'd never used Photoshop before. I didn't really know how to do it, so I had to help. I had to ask for help from my teachers and from my from my peers quite a bit, but they were really really helpful. And it, you know, have, just having the basics means meant that I could I could do do stuff which was just kind of I never thought I'd be able to do. It was really handy just to kind of learn about all having the different layers. And I think having that photo that Photoshop having such a comprehensive suite of tools 
was really helpful to me. So all those sorts of things for Photoshop and in using the internet again just to research what, what magazine front covers look like and what posters look like and what they should look like in terms of how to do it in Photoshop was, was, a, real, was a real help to me. For my evaluation stage, uh, that's sort of very, really similar to kind of production stages. Obviously, I didn't, I haven't um, storyboarded my evaluation, but I just, you know, used a video camera and I recorded just the just the voice, just the voiceover, just the the audio track, and put pictures over the top of that. And again, I would have used I would use Final Cut to do that because you can just have the audio track in there. You can cut and change the audio track. It's not just a video editor, and um, I can put photos in there and change them and adopter them to make it look like a kind of coherent video and it it works really well hopefully and uh, well you'll see the finished product so that's um that's pretty much again what I've done for my evaluation it's a, a really simple kind of process it's just getting the words down and getting the words through but you know all these different technologies have kind of worked together fantastically and superbly well haven't had any problems with anything they all com com they, there's so much compatibility with everything across the board and it's just made the whole experience a bit nicer and simpler and easier to make those products in the end come out a little bit faster and, and work really, really well together.